Like when you see a, a black girl with locks, you like. <laughs> Why you gotta fight when fight when peace can You know I love to go there. Say I'm acting light skin. I can't take you nowhere. This a place for families and drive cars. Hey ready, so today we are gonna get into a little nitty gritty about my hair. Y'all know that I locked my hair earlier this year in April of 2023, and I've had so many questions across my Instagram, across my TikTok, even here on YouTube. So I decided we we're gonna sit down today and do a little Q&A. But don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and make sure you click that bell so you can get notified anytime that i post i do vlogs i do lifestyle content i'm doing now micro lock content so if you have been interested in starting your lock journey want to know more about micro locks want to know more about how i install my micro locks keep watching this video and leave any more questions that you have and i will be sure to answer them in the comments so let's go the first question that i get all the time is how long did your install take so as some of y'all know i did my locks myself and this is actually my second set of braids so the first set that you can see on my channel and i will link it right here of my installation i had about a hundred or so locks i wore them for two days which took me about 19 hours over the course of two days while also working um and i wore them for two days didn't like the size of them i knew that they were going to lock bigger than I wanted them to be so I ended up taking them down and so these are actually the second set that I did and over the course of a week I don't know how long it took me to put these in I just know that it took me four days over the course of me like working my regular eight to nine hours um so let's just say the first set took me 19 hours and these set took me like probably around the same time over the course of five days four to five days doing a couple hours a day still leaving the first set of locks that I had in and just taking them down and rebraiding them. Do I miss my loose hair? Hmm. I would say that I miss the length that I had when I had loose hair. I literally just looked at a photo of myself from earlier in the year and I did not recognize myself at all and I didn't know that that would be like a thing I didn't know that I would not recognize myself but I don't think that I miss my loose hair I love how easy I can manage my hair now I love that no matter what I do my hair looks maintained and that was something I struggled with when I had loose hair I was a lazy natural and when it came to doing my hair like I really didn't go places if my hair wasn't done and now I can just spray a little water pin it up put a headband on and I can look much more put together so i don't necessarily miss my loose hair i do miss the length that i had with my loose hair because although my hair is long in the locks they don't show because it shrinks up so much and it's actually much shorter now that i've got my hair retied and that is always the dilemma and like when i get my hair retied because my hair is knotted up into each other so it looks a lot shorter than when i came into the hair salon so i don't miss my loose natural hair i love having locks it is very convenient for the lifestyle that i live and you know i, I love it i love it so much am i still going to a loctician and why did i not decide to do my own lock maintenance so yes i do go to a loctician i found her on a whim i went to breakfast one day and a lady walked in with her fresh retire and i was like hold on lady ma'am please tell me who did your hair because i originally was going to my mom's loctician in charlotte but that three hour drive from raleigh was not going to be something that i wanted to do every month um and also i really just didn't like her like what is the what is the term for like hair care bedside manner i just I didn't like it so it really wasn't something I wanted to do so I ended up finding her based off the lady that I saw um in the restaurant that I went to for breakfast one day and we have been doing it for the last couple of months and I pay 125 um every time I get my hair done so that's every six weeks so yes and the reason I did not decide to do my own lock maintenance and I'm not saying I'll never do my own lock maintenance I feel like I'm getting to the point of where I want to learn it's just like right now the way my life is set up the way the way like my time is set up I don't really have like the time and mental capacity to sit here and like do all of my hair so that is something that i will probably do in the long run but right now i am just going to continue to pay what i pay to get my hair done a lot of people ask me since my locks are so small do my locks fall out so currently i have not had any locks fall out and i think the reason is because i started mine with 
braids and I don't do too much like styling I don't dye them too much this is still the same dye of when I dyed it for my birthday in June so no I have not had any locks fall out how has my texture changed since I started my lock journey I honestly don't feel like my texture is different I think the the volume of my hair is different my hair is still very thick it's just now that is locked i have little parts and little sections to run my hair through now when i was a loose natural i could never just run my hands through my hair like this so i don't think that my texture has changed besides having like a consistent curl at the bottom you know there's a misconception in the 4c community that our hair does not curl my hair curls a lot of other 4c girlies hair curl but i never saw my hair curl as much as i have but that is also because that my hair is braided and at the ends it's not braided all the way down so like i still have a little spiral of a curl that I can define but as for texture my hair is still very much thick it's still coarse at the ends it's just a lot more manageable now that is locked but I do have the the privilege for now of having curly ends so it's still curly but not as curly as it would have been with my loose hair are there any specific products or maintenance tips that have helped you maintain your hair over the last eight months so i did a maintenance video of how i wash my hair and how i retain moisture with my locks i will tag that right here so you can go check that out but i have not done like a trial and error with um lock products one lock product that i do not use that my mom and other locked girlies swear by is rose water i don't use rose water so i use a molly moisture curl enhancer i just use regular water i use sometimes my shea moisture manuka honey leave-in conditioner and that's pretty much that's pretty much it depending on like what I want to do for the day so I don't use too many products in my hair mainly just like a leave-in conditioner or an oil spray or oil sheen and water just to maintain like moisture and shine and that's the beautiful thing like I have a hair bucket in there that I still need to go through because it's full of all of my older hair products and I'll never use them again what advice would I give to somebody looking to start their lock journey? Hmm. I feel like that I get this question a lot on TikTok when I post like hair tutorials. And I would say that if you are not planning on maintaining your locks, and I say this first because every time I tell people I get my hair done and I pay $125, they be like, oh my God, you pay that every six weeks. And I understand that that is a privilege. I'm very grateful that at this point in my life, that that is something that I can do, especially because if you have been following me for a long time, you know that last year I was self-employed trying to be a full-time content creator and that's not something that I could do. So I understand that that is a privilege and that's not something that everybody can do, but I am able to do that right now. And so I am stepping into my getting services done for me. I've spent a lot of my life doing my own hair. So this is very different not having to do my hair and spend hours doing my hair but i will say that if you're not prepared to learn how to maintain your locks yourself it is going to cost you and when i say cost i also mean the installation so i knew that i did not want to pay thousands of dollars to get my hair done like that's not something i was interested in that's not something i was ever going to do because one thing about it two things for certain no matter how much money i make i'm always going to be a frugal princess okay and especially since I knew that there were other ways of starting locks, I knew that I wasn't ever going to spend that much money. You know, there was a part of me that was going to pay somebody to put the braids in for me. And I was, and I realized, like, first of all, I don't care about a grid. So that is also something that I'm going to say. But let's just stick to this point of, like, it is an investment. It is not just something that you just do and, it, and you'll never pay any money ever again. Now, if you want to install and maintain yourself, that is your choice but for me right now that's not something that i want to do and i actually have a great price to get my hair done you know i know people who are paying 400 plus dollars to have their hair done just to get it retied and that is not even with the installation so up front just know that if you're not planning on maintaining it yourself it is an investment in yourself the second point of advice that i would say is if you're going to install yourself determine if you want a grid or no grid so i knew that i didn't really care about parts i knew that i wasn't ever going to be a stickler for like having perfect parts now the first set that i did that i took out before these i tried to have good parts 
They were not perfect, but I did try and part my hair in every single braid I parted my hair. Now, when I did these, I just took down the other braids and I just started braiding because I knew like even when I would braid my hair with like box braids or twists, I never had uniform parts. I like that it made my hair look a little bit more natural. I like the way that it laid. So I knew that I didn't care about parts. If you care about parts and like the cleanness of your parts, now don't get me wrong. With your retires, your sections will be clean if you do them properly or if you have somebody who does them properly. You just will not have perfectly straight arrays of lines. Like that is not what my hair looks like. I will insert a clip of what my hair looks like, but that is not at all what my hair looks like. And I prefer it that way. So decide if you prefer a grid or if you don't prefer a grid. There's no grid like hierarchy there is the lock community is a little catty okay it's just as catty as like greek sororities i feel because especially when you have like micro locks it's like oh micro locks are trying to be sister locks and i'm just like girl there's space for all of us to eat eat on your own plate and stop worried about what i'm putting on mine okay the third piece of advice that I would give is to document your hair journey like if you're somebody who is like me and never feels like your hair is growing take pictures I don't think that my hair has grown an astronomical amount but like I said when I get my reties um, and also I maintain my hair with an interlocking um, method so my hair is like knotted into each other so it doesn't look like it's growing but the more I look at my pictures from April it has grown a little bit visually but it has definitely gained its fullness back as I have been washing my hair because at first I did not want to wash my hair because I did not want to lose my length y'all I did not want to do it and the moment I did it my hair just shrunk up as natural forcey hair do so if you are wanting to see how your locks have changed do not forget to take videos take pictures like hold your memory so you can look back on how far your hair has changed has your washing and conditioning routine changed since getting locks? Absolutely. I wash my hair more frequently. I'm able to get to my scalp a lot better, but also I don't wash my locks the way that most locticians recommend people who are just starting their locks. I have only banded my locks to be washed one time, and that was the one time I went to get my hair done. But other than that, I just wash it like regular. I find that it helps me cleanse my hair a lot better, especially since I use more products than somebody who has like thicker locks per se. So I don't band my hair, I just wash it and I actually use the Dr. Bronner's. That's the only product that I use. I don't deep condition my locks. I use like a leave-in conditioner just because I do still have majority braid and my braids aren't braided all the way down to the end. So I wanna prevent as much slippage as I can. So that is something that has changed. It has changed drastically and and I never wash my hair in the shower. Like that was something I just don't do. I don't like water my hair. Now I wash my hair in the shower. I only wash my hair in the shower. What are some misconceptions <laughs> about micro locks and how can you bust them? So there are a lot of misconceptions about micro locks, especially the one about them trying to be sister locks. Like, as you know, sister locks are a trademark brand which i think is absolutely crazy but you know never this never here nor there the sister lock bullies don't come in my comments trying to fight me but my hair is started with micro braids so itty bitty tiny braids that's how i chose to start mine a lot of people start their micro lock journey with twists but i knew that my hair was going to shrink up so much and i wanted to maintain so much length that's why i decided to start mine with braids now the way that my locks are maintained are maintained in the same way that sister locks are maintained but the way that I start my locks and the way that I started them as in myself is completely different from sister locks so sometimes people have the idea that if you have micro locks you're trying to have sister locks like baddies can have a lane of their own it is absolutely okay another misconception is that your hair is not going to shrink up just because you start them so long. Your hair is still going to shrink. Now, you can also get lock extensions. I did not have lock extensions. This is no shade towards anybody with lock extensions because they look amazing. So if you 
don't have that much length but you want to expedite having the length you can opt in for some lock extensions and I think if you search them online they're called like bell micro locks that they have like the natural hair lock extensions now I have heard that sometimes lock extensions break along the way but my hair has not broken off I haven't had any breakage at the ends and actually my hair health has been absolutely amazing I probably need to drink a little bit a little bit more water but you know that's always going to be an issue but as far as keeping my scalp clean as far as like how hydrated my hair feels as far as like how like soft my hair is I feel like my hair has taken to a next level another misconception is that you cannot do them yourself get that off your head you can do them yourself and still be happy with them I don't think that I would have love them as much as I did because it is definitely a labor of love which is why I am so grateful that I did them myself because I know like how much time I put in to help me with my commitment issues when it comes to my hair it helped me commit a lot better knowing that I spent so much time on my hair and definitely like do your research and do your research means like look up people who have the same hair texture as you if you know that you don't have no jerry curl juice in your blood and you know your hair don't curl like that don't go into getting locks especially if you want curly ends like don't go into getting locks thinking that your hair is going to curl like that listen ma'am your hair don't curl like that and that's okay so i did a lot of research on like people who had hair that looked like mine different sizes and that helped me choose like how big and how small i wanted to do them but either way the process is yours this is your own journey do not let anybody on this app any other app anybody that you talk to discourage you in a way that if you're not doing it like this or if you're not doing it like them that your journey is invalid probably the most asked question is how do i feel different now that i have locks and honestly i don't i do think it's the locks y'all when they said that the girls with locks is the baddest bitches in the world like we are we are i finally tapped in so i finally understand but like my confidence in myself and like my own natural beauty and honestly once you tap into your own natural beauty you can stunt on bitches or stunt on life like in a whole new way and I feel like that's the lifelong era that I'm in and my hair has definitely helped me get to that get to that point and not just because I have locks but just because my hair is done when I tell y'all I feel like a peasant when my hair is not done I feel like a peasant so always having an easy style literally I can throw in some braids spritz some water on them take them out after the car ride to my destination and I have a hairstyle that is bro nothing will ever top that so just like the confidence of having my hair done, feeling put together all the time has definitely made me like feel myself a lot more. And also like knowing that you gain the same time you like when you see a black woman, you like, hey, girl, like when you see a, a black girl with locks, you like, <laughs> girl, if we like them, ain't no switching up. That's really how it is, because we gang like I've never felt I literally genuinely I have never felt as pretty as I have felt as when I have had locks especially now that they're starting to take form they're fluffing up a little bit I have never felt as beautiful as I have since I've gotten locks which is why I recommend them even if to somebody because I always wear my hair in mini twists so I'm like I don't know why it took me so long I have always wanted like sister locks since middle school but I can't believe it took me so long that is the only thing that I regret is that it took me so long to do this I love them so much I love them we we locked in okay literally we locked in <laughs> get into it be into it yeah I hope that this was a little insightful on giving you some more advice on how to start your lock journey where to start answering any questions that you feel like have not been answered if you want to have locks do them if you cannot afford to get them done find a way to do them yourself ask your friends to help you your partner as you can see in my installation video and i will also link that in the description nick helped me with that first day when i couldn't see the back of my head he ordered me that three-way mirror 
and he helped me park. So if you cannot afford to get them done, but you want them done, like you can do them yourself. Now, if you want them done a certain way, like maybe this is something that you save up for. You know, I did mine myself and I'm very happy with them. But there are a lot of people who do them themselves and don't get the results that they want because they, you know, don't know the technique. But I have been doing my hair a long time. So I was very confident that I could do this style myself. One, because I used to wear my hair smaller than this in high school and little bitty twist so I knew that braiding it would be no problem if I threw on a couple movies and just sat down to do it. I definitely think that it is an investment of your time, your money, but the results for me on the other side of the money and the time have been monumental of just the ease of getting ready, the ease of always feeling put together, the ease of, you know, not having to spend so much money on natural hair care products, not having a hit or miss product, you know what I'm saying? So. For me, I think getting locks for me was the best with the lifestyle that I live. I don't work out too much, but then the times I am moving around, my hair doesn't feel too dirty, but I have the option to wash it when I need to and not have to worry about sitting down for hours and styling and blow drying. So these are the questions that I have presented to you. If I did not answer any questions that you have, be sure to comment them and I will reply back and I will even probably make a video about it. Follow me on TikTok. I do more of like short form lock videos. I will be trying out some pipe cleaner curls. So be on the lookout for a video like that. And I will also be doing some lock sprinkles in my micro locks, which I have been waiting to get my hair retied to do. So stay tuned for those videos. And like always, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button for more micro locks, content and don't forget to turn the notification bell on so you can get notified anytime I post so I will catch y'all in my next video